Hi, this is Karina Brown with Get In Touch. I want to show you how to release your forearm using a T-sphere aromatherapy massage ball. Start on a hard surface and place the T-sphere just distal to the medial epicondyle. Place the palm down. You're going to work the ulnar side of your uh, forearm. You to place the other hand right on top or right over top of the ball. I want you to press into the ball, release, press, and now do a cross fiber friction. So you're moving the ball over the forearm side to side. Move the ball down towards the hand. Take the other arm right on top of the ball. Press down release side to side now. So we're opening up the tissue, getting blood flow through. Press down, move side to side. One more time down, again I'm moving towards the pinky finger, pressing down, and cross fiber frictioning. Excellent. Okay, so the movements that we did were here, 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 and here, moving towards the pinky. Now, I want you to place the uh, T-sphere right in the middle of the forearm. We're going to be working this point, this point, and this point. So three points or four, depending on how big or how long your arm is. Never put the ball in the carpal tunnel area you will stop just short of where the tendons pass through. Okay, so place the ball right in the middle of your forearm, palm down, take your other hand right on top of the ball, press down, and cross fiber friction. Really open up the tissue between the ulna and the radius. It feels really good. Move the ball down towards the hand, and cross fiber friction. One more time, moving the ball down towards the hand. Place the other hand right on top of the forearm, pressing down and doing cross fiber friction. This is where the ball is. Excellent. Okay, now moving towards the um, thumb on the radial side of the hand. Ball is going to be right here, right here, right here. And if you um, want to, one more point right here, depending again how long your arm is. Okay, so starting on the lateral epicondyle, place the forearm down, press into the ball. Your hand on top is assisting with the press. Cross fiber frictioning. Moving the arm towards the radial side. Move the ball again towards the hand. Press. Cross fiber friction. Move the ball one more time towards the hand. Press. And cross fiber friction. Release the ball. Feel how open and how much blood flow you have to your hand now. Feels way different from the other side. Okay, now I want to open up the hand. Place the ball right on the thenar eminence, right in the thumb pad. Palm down and make sure that you take your other hand right over top of your thumb. We're going to open up. So press down, traction the thumb. Relax your hands. I give a little press right here, right in the web, and open up over the ball. This feels really good. Opening. Excellent. Now move to the center of the hand. This is where I'm going to place the ball down, it's closer to the fingers. Place your other hand on top. Place your body over the ball. Open up that hand. Press your hand over that ball, opening up. Breathing and release. 
Now, move the ball towards the pinky side, towards the ulnar side of the hand. Opening, moving the hand again over the ball. So here's where the ball is. Moving over, pressing over top of the ball, opening up the hand, tractioning each finger, and release. Excellent. Move your hand around. Feel how great that feels. Okay. For the top of the forearm, again, you want to place the forearm and the hand palms down. And you can come in with the other hand. This is a rolling technique. And with oil, this feels really great as well. So you want to just come in and have a very soft hand with this. But you can roll with a forward roll technique, or you can roll a cross fiber technique. Keeping my hand nice and relaxed, keeping my wrist straight, rolling the length of the forearm, releasing tissue. This is an excellent technique. Always bringing blood back at the very end. So it's very great for any type of body workers, massage therapists, anybody with repetitive strain injury. Just make sure you don't have any inflammation going on. If you have inflammation, you need to ice the area, making sure inflammation subsides. Then we can work the tissue in this area, get the tissue freed up, getting blood flow, moving through, and moving waste products out. This is a great tool because not only can we release our muscles, we also have aromatherapy combined. Excellent. My arm and my hand feel so much more open, longer. I really hope you enjoyed the technique. Visit us at igetintouch.com for more continuing education classes and check out T-Spheres also on YouTube. Have a great day.